stew meat. And then when you want to throw in the vegetables, you want the veggies to cook, you move it off the fire just enough to keep warm. Now this three logs on the bottom here is not just a symbolize a fire. That is an actual fire. It's called a Swedish chimney fire. You start with three logs approximately the same size. If not one log, you chop three ways. You feather the inside. Take an axe and just chop it like this. Now it's all feathery, which looks like kindling now, right? Yeah. You take the logs, all three feathered on the inside. You stick them, feather faces together. Throw kindling down the middle, light up the middle. Eventually it will light. Then it creates a natural chimney and the flame come pouring out of the top and eventually you have nothing but a hot, glowing center. Throughout the day, and I mean the day, last year's fire went 13 hours. And we never put any fire, any wood back on it. Just those three logs, 13 hours, hot cooking all day long. Hot cooking, no flame. No, no flame. But if we take, we used to take a, a paper towel and drop it on top, and before it even touched the wood, the flame, that much heat. How long does it take between starting it to get to a hot coal, like a hot? Well, once you once you get the draft going, it's like blowing on an ember. So you just gotta wait until that catches on. You can help it along with a little blow torch, but you know, it works. Once you get it started. The only other thing you gotta do for maintenance on this fire is we put a piece of strapping wire or even a regular wire hanger around the middle, like this. And then as the fire burns, it eats away the inside of the logs. They look like they spread apart, but they're not. It's just that they're being consumed. To keep the draft and the fire hot, you gotta push it together. So we strap it with the wire and then you twist. And then all these logs squish together like that. What's really neat, we demonstrated it last year. Oh look, there's some seasoning in the pan, a little bug. Over here. Um, last year we had to move it, so I put on a couple of heat gloves, the fire was burning, I just grabbed the logs like this, picked it up, moved it, put it down, the fire was over here. Can't do that with any other kind of fire, Swedish chimney fire, it's awesome. I don't find it's it's very cool. Glove. That's a fire glove. Do you have to wear like the top? What do you need? Like, what are you going to do with the